it's been a while since I have done a video for you all, but as you can see from the title, things are a lot different these days. I got laid off, but it was a blessing. Hey y'all, welcome to the Fiercely Feminine Life, where we discuss all things motherhood, entrepreneurship, and women empowerment. So I know I haven't sat down in about a year to do a sit down video with you all. And last time I promised I was gonna be consistent, but I was playing. <laughs> but I wanted to come on because today's a special day for me. Today is August 17th, which marks 60 days since I left my job as an attorney and have been a full-time photographer. This is the first time I've really gone into how this all transpired. I've talked about it a little bit here and there and you know some of my friends know the full story but most people don't know the full story about how I ended up being full-time this year and like the trajectory of everything so I wanted to come on and just give you a little snippet. Let me first start by saying 2023 was a year I had already declared it was going to be the year I went full-time in photography and stopped practicing law. However, it happened a lot faster than I anticipated. I had planned maybe later in the summer, maybe the fall. However, God was like, no, 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 on my time. <laughs> so the day that started this whole thing was March 27, 2023. I'll likely never forget this day in my whole life because it was such an amazing conversation. I have some property that I own with one of my friends and that's in Houston and there's a guy there who cuts our grass and in the five years that we've owned this property I had never ever talked to this man however because my business partner was now living abroad I needed to be the one to coordinate getting our grass cut for the property and so you know I just called him and I said hi my name is Jada today gave me your number and I just need to know how much you know we owe on the grass so what started out as just a really really basic conversation just to get numbers for how much we owed on our grass turned into an hour and a half conversation between me and this man that I've never ever met in my whole life right and the reason I knew it was a God conversation is because again all I told him was my name and that I was calling to ask about the grass and this man literally was telling me so many things about my life as far as business career like my motherhood like he just had all this like insight into my life and I understood there it was only a God thing. So this conversation ended up being very powerful both for me and for him. Funny enough, most of the time on the conversation, I felt like he was talking, but I was in a position where I was just to listen and absorb the information. Right? At the end of our call, he said that, you know, I helped him figure out some things that he needed to work through. And for sure, for sure, he helped me figure out a lot of things in my life. Before we got off the phone, we prayed together. There was a point in time when I was in tears another time when he was in tears and just honestly during our conversation he had interactions with other people that were around him and his spirit was just so beautiful and touching to me that I was like wow like this man is like different right <laughs> like such a special man and such a beautiful spirit and, and I knew that just from a conversation talking on the phone like he was literally prophesying over my life and it was just like the craziest thing to me but it started this really, really fast trajectory of like me going full time. This conversation was so powerful that it ignited like a fire under me. I immediately started looking into get more information about opening my content studio, which I had already talked about and been like, it's been on my mind for at least a year or two, but I had planned to do it later in the summer. But after this conversation, I was kind of fired up. So I started doing a little bit more research and things just kind of start falling into place for me to be able to get the money to be able to open the studio. So about a week or so later, I'm you know in a really good headspace. I'm still feeling charged up from this conversation. I've talked to some people who can give me some money for this studio, and then my boss calls me, and he said, "Hey, like I want to talk to you and let you know that our contract has run out of money, and that the contract will be ending on May 15th." Now May 15th was a big day because I had wrote in my journal that I wanted to like secure my space by May 15th so it was just crazy how like I had wrote something down in that week since talking to the man and now this date is playing again 
May 15th was also significant because unbeknownst to it, like many people, I was also in the process of refinancing, pulling some equity out of my house and my terms expired also on May 15th. So again, here we are with this God conversation. We got this trinity of things keep popping up and I'm understanding that like this is happening. So I have been a contractor with the government for nine years. And there was always talks about, you know, our contract, the money in our contract may be, you know, running out, but it never really happened. And so I laughed when my boss told me this. He doesn't know that. We were on the phone, but. <laughs> so I'm laughing because God is clearly pointing me where he wants me to go and he's moving way, way faster. So I'm laughing because one, okay, God, I hear you. And two, you're just going to. Now let me get a little hang glide or nothing. You just gonna throw me off the cliff. <laughs> but this was a huge like testament to faith and just understanding that God provides no matter what. So here we are. I should also say I didn't feel a way about my job ending because I was already headed that way anyway. I told you, like I said, I wanted to 2023 to be the year where I was full time in photography. I have literally been juggling jobs for the last 10 years and so I just was in a situation and in a place in my life where I just wanted to focus on one thing and to be honest law wasn't making me as happy as photography was and it hasn't done that in a very very long time. I even have a group chat with some of my co-workers and my balls and we chat like every day so it's no hard feelings. I still love them. That was a part of the reason I was there so long. I probably would have left a long time ago if I didn't like them. <laughs> so two months in to full-time entrepreneurship and things have been really really good god provides as always of course there's always a little bit of worry when you're used to having something that's so, so consistent and now you're relying on something that's something that's up and down sometimes um but it's been really 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 good i have been knee deep into getting educated on so many new things and really setting up my business systems to help my business flourish i'll talk more about those lessons in another video but things are good as you've probably seen from my last video i am in the process of opening a content studio in prince george's county maryland called fiercely feminine studios and i am so excited about it Woo! it has been a process but i want to take y'all along for the journey we had a crowdfunding campaign that ran for 60 days and in that 60 days we raised nearly ten thousand dollars so i'm so happy and i'm so appreciative of everybody who donated people have already been cashing in their rewards and getting their merchandise such as this and also photo shoots and just all types of stuff so i'm so 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 excited so fiercely feminine studios is a multi-set studio that is built for women in mind uh, this is for content creators, photographers, videographers, productions. It's going to have multi-sets, which is something that we really don't have here in the D.C. area. The type of setup that I want, like I've seen a lot of in like Atlanta and L.A., but none that have as many sets in this area. So our studio is going to have between eight to ten sets. We're going to have some really fun goodies. I'm so excited. Some of those sets include a few living spaces, a kitchen, an indoor garden, and I might even have a other little surprise that I haven't seen here, so I'm excited about it. The reason I wanted to open this content studio is because like, as a photographer, one of the biggest questions my clients always have is, where are we gonna shoot? I really wanted my clients and other people to be able to come in to a location that has diverse sets where they can create content and not worry about the same look and everybody being in the same place. All of the furniture and things are gonna be movable so you can kind of create space as you see fit. I'm so excited to take y'all on the journey with me opening this content studio and you know exploring this life as a full-time entrepreneur. If you're interested in keeping up the journey and all the behind the scenes that I'm capturing, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you like this video and leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see as a set in our space. I'm so excited. I have so much content behind the scenes, studio tours, drafting, contractors, so much stuff. I really just want to share with you all 
I'll also be sharing a lot of lessons as both an entrepreneur and also as a photographer. And of course, as a mompreneur, as I'm juggling all these things and my two beautiful babies. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome to the Fiercely Family Night. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Come on. What the? Oh, set by you. Oh, she dare I get off. <laughs> I should first say that 2023 was the year I said I was going to be full time in photography. Get out! <laughs> Probably ever, just because it was such a important... Get out! Papa, not holding me ice cream. Boy, go wash your hands. You got ice cream on you. Go wipe... That's what you